I got interested in science uh, in like junior high, middle school. Loved science. So what do I want to do? Do I want to be a physician or should I just go on and pursue my passion about science? And then one of my professors said, you know, there are these things called MD, PhD programs where you can do both. I was like, oh, okay. Sounds like I can put off the decision for a while. Maybe I'll decide I like one or the other better, but maybe I'll keep doing both. I love doing both and so I never had to decide. So when I came to Stanford, I came to do my MD-PhD. I never intended to stay forever. They knew how to do it right, and I think we know even more now about how to do it right. So they were able to offer opportunities that I just didn't see at other, um, at other programs. Many mentors who are physician scientists themselves and who can talk about, here's how I handled these decisions in my career, here's what you might think about. But of course, your, the mentors aren't restricted to physician scientists. Stanford has always had this sort of think outside the box, go find somebody else in another field to help you, this very interdisciplinary kind of approach. And that works so well for physician scientists. To have your colleagues in the School of Engineering, Computer Science, Statistics, Chemistry, Biology, everybody right here with the clinicians is just, it's amazing for anybody, but especially for physician scientists. Any subspecialty, there are so many incredibly important questions that investigators are working on here. Certainly in malignant hematology, there are many examples that ties into the Stem Cell Institute, to the Cancer Institute, and the investigators doing everything. Stanford is all about discovery and taking it into the betterment of patients.